hello everyone this is Inayat Meer back for my new video uh, this will be a time server setting like NTP setting my previous video showed you how to transfer FISMA roles from one domain controller to another domain controller that we were intending to decommission so currently I am going to show you my domain controller uh, this is a host name LON-DC1 and if I do IP config on this domain 172.16.0.10 this is my IP address right over here so I would like to have this domain controller as a uh, NTP server so 172.16.0.10 uh, so let's go to group policy so so I'm going into my group policy under my domain controllers policy so I will see my domain here edatom.com under that I have default domain policy and I have a default policy for domain controllers so I will go ahead and I can configure default domain controllers policy or I can create a new group policy so I can create NTP policy so now once this policy is created I am going to right click and configure this policy under policies and administrative template we have to look for system and all the way down to windows time service so let me expand my screen here so now you can see this all clear and visible i can even click on uh, standard option here so global configuration settings so all I have to do is enable with my default settings so these are the default settings what you can see here you can scroll down and you can move on to the right side and read the information I can apply then you go to time providers option here and first you have to configure and enable this policy again I will leave as a default but I will have to configure here the IP address of my time server so now we need the IP address of this domain so as we went through before and saw the IP address I think is on the second window here uh, you can see this is 172.16.0.10 so I am going to add the IP here 172.16.0.10 and after that I have to use a comma and I have to use 0 multiplied by where is my x and I will put 0 1 I will change my option to NTP and apply okay this is my domains IP address I gonna click on apply and click on OK so now I configured my NTP client options now, uh, this is my as a configuration option so clients can see this I will enable my NTP client settings here and I will enable my NTP server settings here all right so this is configured now you have to do a GP update force on the client side I will uh, let you know that you will run another command to update and then reboot and you should be able to see the client side also updated and you will see your new time server so I will wait for a while and I might have to pause the video and I will come back in a few minutes 
okay so I am back so let's make a change in registry I did already just want to show you under H key local machine let me take the other mouse okay uh, usually we go under a system and current control set then we go to services and under that we look for w32 time so you can alphabetically type w32 time under that you will see let me expand that the option uh, <coughs> you will see here time providers and this value was blank and I set it to zero so this is the first thing and the second and third thing I can make a time savings I can drag into my query here so then you have to run w32tm query here once you do then you reboot your computer and then from the client side you will run w32tm query source and also you can look at the status and then you are done uh, before i drop off i want to make sure that you understand the process so if you have more than one domain controller for example you got multiple domain controllers so you go into your uh, pdc or any domain controller and you look for domain controllers or you uh, under that you can configure default domain controllers policy uh, to uh, modify this registry key so you have to go under your computer configuration preferences under preferences you will go under your windows settings and registry here you right click on registry new key registry item you have to select that so you have to basically create h key local machine and you see the path on the right side so you can go through that path h key local machine and you go to system and you go to current control set under system let me go down here and you look for the current control set under that you have to go to services that comes right after that and then you have to look for alphabetically w because you need this key uh, w32 time and time providers this is a time providers here and under that I did create basically uh, a key which was set as zero here this is the key which we have already configured data is basically zero uh, the value is basically is zero so you have to click on select and apply so this will actually uh, be available for all domain controllers so i do not need this because i have only one domain controller uh, i don't have any backup domain controllers or list of domain controllers if you look at my active directory uh, which i can launch here from dsa.msc and you will go under my adatum.com and you will go to domain controllers i have only one domain controller you might have multiple list of domain controllers so this was the addition which i wanted to add before i close this video i hope you like this video and i will continue my other videos which i am going to start with a powershell uh, commands and powershell basics thank you for watching I will see you soon. Thank you.